So in the 1870s and 80s, two paleontologists, Edward Cope and O'Neill Marsh, basically had the most famous scientific rivalry of all time as they tried to be the guy who named the most dinosaur genera. In their childish hatred, they hired spies and would destroy digs once they were done so the other couldn't get the scraps. They discovered a lot of famous North American dinosaurs, but also would name new genera based on the tiniest differences, which made a mess that future paleontologists had to fix like the case of Apatosaurus and Brontosaurus. You really shouldn't know the name Brontosaurus. The dinosaur was found to just be Apatosaurus in 1903 by the guy who described Brachiosaurus. Despite this, the American Museum of Natural History unveiled the first ever skeletal mount of a long-necked dinosaur, an Apatosaurus incorrectly labeled as Brontosaurus excelsus, which thus meant the public's introduction to long-necked dinosaurs was incorrectly named. And so guess what genus the kids learned?